Hello friends, hope you're doing good. So, did you know that the first scientific journal was published over 350 years ago? Since then, research has come a long way. For many years, writing a good research paper could take weeks, sometimes even months, because of all the reading, not taking and citation. But today, with the help of AI tools, we can read, understand, and write better research papers in less time than ever before. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best tools for that. It is called Answer This, which is for students, professionals, or anyone who struggles with academic writing. In a nutshell, it helps you in academic writings, including research papers, literature reviews, and thesis, find reliable sources, and so much more. Let's explore this tool step by step. First of all, you need to sign in. So you can either type Answer This dot io in your google chrome or click on the link provided in the description after that you will get this kind of an interface you just click on sign in and here you will get an option to sign up using your gmail account once you're logged in you will get this kind of an interface here you see different options new query ai writer etc in today's video we'll be particularly focusing on this new query so i typed here role of ai in schools so now what I'll do, I'll keep it at auto, then I'll go to more filters. And here you can see I select minimum citations at 10 and I keep it at auto. I can change it to any one of these that I want to. And here you can see I can select the publication date of my research papers that this tool will rely on to write the literature review for me. I just keep it as it is and then click on submit search it will keep on searching until my query is done after a while your literature review will be ready which will be placing to your site and when you scroll down you get this option of changing the citation style for example i select the citation as apa if i click on this pdf here then i'll get the details of all the papers it has used and i can save these papers to my library for later use when i click there save it will simply add these papers to my library here, which I can use for my later purposes. You can download this paper along with the citations, either in PDF or docs. But I, what I would suggest you is to click on this option here is edit with AI. Because if you completely rely on this text, then it will give you more plagiarism because it's directly taking quotes from the available PDF files. So what you simply will do is to go to edit with AI. After you are into this tool, here you what you can do is you simply select. After you select the text, you simply click on this refresh option. Once you click there, then it will simply refresh your text and the plagiarism will be long gone. From here, you can also add to your paragraphs. For example, I select this paragraph and I click on this expand outline. So here you can see it is added to that paragraph more detail. Here you can select all the text and you can also go with these number of headings. You can increase them or decrease them. Also here, if you want to insert a table, you can simply click on this table option here and then you just simply click insert table. So it has inserted a table. For example, I type something is AI helpful. And here I come up with, for example, backslash. And then these are the options that I get. Continue writing, bullet list, numbered list, etc. according to my need. So once you're done with your writing, you can either copy text to your Word document or you add your own ideas to this text within this tool and then simply export in PDF format. And then you can either use it, submit it, whatever you want to. So this is how you can use this. Another important tool is this option of mini tools here. When you click there, you will get this kind of an interface. Here you get many options. One important option is Research Gap Finder. Once you click there, you'll get an interface like this. So here what you can do is, for example, if you want to do a research and you have no idea what are the gaps within that particular domain. So you can, sir, you can type your topic here and it will give you an idea where you can find gaps and how you can mitigate those gaps. So this is the general idea where I want to do my research about. It will take a while and then it will give me an idea which are the gaps that I need to fill. In fact, this feature helped me personally a lot in finding my own research topic. So here you can see it has given me a detailed analysis about my particular niche and it is giving me an idea of whether where I should work. So you can use this mini tool to find the research gap for yourself and work accordingly. So these are some of the features that I covered in this video and to be honest, this is one of the most intelligent and fun in all tools you can use for your research. For now, that's all from Teach Me Friend. If you have any question, type that in the comment section. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.